The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense has officially approved the deployment of Swedish Panzer Banvan 302, PBV 302, Armored Personnel Carriers, APCs, to its armed forces. This significant decision comes in the wake of Stockholm's May 2024 announcement to provide substantial military aid to Ukraine, valued at 75 billion Swedish krona, $7.3 billion, over three years. As part of this aid package, Sweden confirmed the transfer of 239 PBV-302 vehicles, representing its entire fleet. Developed by Hagland and Sonar in the 1960s, the PBV-302 was first introduced into the Swedish Armed Forces in 1966, where it served as the primary APC until its retirement from active service in 2014. The vehicle saw combat in various international missions, including in the Western Balkans, before being phased out in favor of more modern systems. The PBV-302 is equipped with a 20mm HS-804 automatic cannon mounted in a single-seat turret on the front left of the chassis, offering effective defense capabilities against light-armored threats. The vehicle is powered by a 280-horsepower Volvo Penta Model THD 100B engine, which shares mechanical components with the ICF-91 light tank. This powertrain allows the PBV-302 to reach a maximum speed of 66 km per hour on land and 7.5 km per hour in amphibious operations. A total of 647 PBV-302 units were produced between 1965 and 1972. These included 518 infantry combat versions and 129 specialized variants, such as command posts, artillery fire observation vehicles, medical evacuation units, and recovery vehicles. Over the years, the vehicle underwent several upgrades, resulting in models like the PBV-302A, PBV-302B with enhanced protection, and PBV-302C featuring improved engine and suspension systems. Despite being considered outdated by modern standards, the PBV-302 still provides critical support to Ukraine's military operations. The vehicle's ability to traverse difficult terrains, including mud, sand, and water obstacles, makes it a valuable asset on the battlefield. However, its capabilities are somewhat limited compared to more modern armored fighting vehicles. In addition to the PBV-302, Sweden has also provided approximately 50 combat vehicle 90s, CV-90S, which offer superior firepower and protection. Furthermore, plans are in place for joint production of 1,000 additional CV-90S, signaling a long-term commitment to bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities. Ukraine's decision to integrate the PBV-302 into its armed forces reflects a broader strategy of maximizing available resources to enhance its defensive posture against Russian aggression. The deployment of these vehicles underscores Ukraine's determination to strengthen its military capacity, even with older platforms. Beyond the PBV-302, Ukraine has also approved the use of other armored vehicles, including Buffalo Minesweeper vehicles and South African Bomb-6 mine-protected armored fighting vehicles. These additions to Ukraine's armored vehicle fleet further expand its operational capabilities in the face of ongoing conflict. In conclusion, while the PBV-302 may not match the advanced capabilities of newer armored vehicles, its deployment is a testament to Ukraine's resolve and resourcefulness in defending its sovereignty. The integration of these vehicles, alongside more modern systems, represents a balanced approach to strengthening Ukraine's military effectiveness in the ongoing conflict with Russia.